is on for South Africa's next gospel sensation. 150,000 rand to be won. One lucrative recording contract to be signed. Only one aspirant gospel singer can walk away with this grand prize. Who will it be? Join us tonight as many hopefuls from around the country say, I want to sing gospel. Sunday night, and the singing carries on as uh, we are heading towards the grand prize of 150,000 rands. Last week, two more contestants were asked to hang up their microphones and leave the competition, leaving us with the top six. And as we saw, not only is the competition getting tougher, it's also getting harder to predict what Mr. Mkise and our guest judges here can come up with next. Goes to show that you have to be ready for anything here on I Want to Sing Gospel. But it's all worth it for that grand prize of 150,000 rands and a lucrative recording contract. The winner also has a once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to see some of the most significant places in Christianity as they tour Israel, courtesy of Bridges for Peace. And as those wonderful prices come closer and the music gets hotter and hotter and so much better, the toughest question is, who is hanging their microphone tonight? And, of course, the man with the unenviable task of having to lead the team that decides who goes and who stays is Mr. Linda Lanninghese. <laughs> Tonight, he's not doing this job on his own. He's joined by two guest judges who will be helping him decide who is hanging their microphone tonight. Let's say a warm I Want to Sing gospel welcome to the legend, the maestro, it's Bishop Benjamin Dubé. Also on the hot seat tonight is the darling of South African gospel music, Sichaba Badi. Yeah, he's a very, very, very distinguished gentleman sitting right next to you there. What is our theme for tonight? Favor, Tabo, favor yeah, to yeah, you, yeah. Baba. Uh, last week we actually uh, closed the Women's Month with uh, celebrating South African gospel divas. This week, as you can see around me, it's about man, man of God, man of gospel in South Africa. Man of the gospel in South Africa. We heard the theme. The audience is ready, right? Yeah. The band is ready, right? And let's meet our top six contestants tonight. Ladies and gentlemen, come on out. Let's say a warm welcome to Tabali Ngube. Say how's it to Marco Manuel. A round of applause for Ntlagadi Potele. Come on, make some noise for Nombulelo Chefu. And let's hear it for Sam Gelisi Wemvelase. Also here tonight, it's Mbu Selelo Potele. Yeah, this is our top six. Let's get this show on the road. Last week, we asked you, our loyal viewers, to cast your votes, and the results are in. When I call your name, please step forward. Vusele. Nombulen. Tagani. Sam Gelisi. Tlagani, you sang last week. The viewers at home have voted.
Congratulations. You're the man with the highest vote for the week. And therefore, you're safe. You can join the rest of the crew, which means congratulations to you two as well. You are safe for tonight. Which means that you guys are in the bottom three. You will be singing tonight to save your microphones in this competition. And with that, the music begins. Remember, you can't vote for Mfuselelo, Nombulelo, and Samgelisiwe until we know which of them the judges choose to save. They'll perform first, and then the other contestants will come on stage and sing for your votes. Starting off tonight, we have Mfuselelo Khadebe with the rendition of Keke's Jo Kimusholo. But before he takes to the stage, here's what he's, he had to say about the men of gospel as well as manhood in general. Manhood means to me a leader, someone who is led by example, a leader of a family, as well as a leader of a nation. Yeah. is a Sutu song. Why I chose this song is because of the grace of God that has given us by giving us His Son, Jesus Christ. KK is just a lively musician and he can sing. And I wanted just to, to do that, but interpret it on my, in my own way of, of singing the song. Yeah. Will Mfusalelo set the stage alight tonight? Stay tuned and find out. He's performing after the break. Mm -hmm. 